Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Roots Organic Liquid Nutrient Lineup. First we'll look at is the organic bases they have. Um, the first one's called Buddha Grow and the bloom is called Buddha Bloom. Um, basically you use Buddha Grow in veg and then we're going to add Buddha Bloom to Buddha Grow about second week of flower. Um, Buddha Grow by itself is higher in nitrogen, it doesn't have a lot of phosphorus, it has a little bit of potassium in there, and then the Buddha Bloom's got a higher phosphorus potassium count. When they're added together, they make a complete bloom formula, and by itself, Buddha uh, Grow is a good veg formula. So if you're looking for just something really simple, if you're using strong dirt, just try their bases, and then maybe one by one add their additives in later. Both these are made from worm castings and uh, soybean hydroslate. Um, they also have some bat guano in there. So the first additive we're going to look at is Ancient Amber. Ancient Amber is a nettle and soybean fermentation, which makes it high in organic nitrogen. It's a very soluble form of nitrogen. The plants can take it up really easily. It makes your plants look really nice and green. We're going to run this all the way through the entire cycle, veg and flower. Um, and then uh, it also has got some amino acids in it, which is the building block of uh, proteins. So next up we'll look at is the Trinity. Uh, Trinity is their catalyst product. We're going to run this also all the way through. Um, it's got humic acid, kelp, yucca, uh, some micronutrients in there, um, but basically it's helped uh, break down nutrients and assimilate nutrients, make nutrients more available to the plant and help them uh, take it up. Um, so it's a great product if you're running any kind of organics or if you're running just a strong dirt. If you're just looking for one product to add from their line, the Trinity would be a good one just to make nutrients more available um, and help just that breakdown process. Um, next up we'll look at is the uh, Extreme Serene. Extreme Serene is going to be their strong kelp product. Um, they do have a lot of kelp in their line across the board because it's a great product for plants in general. Um, kelp's known to be known in high, uh, high in micronutrients as well as uh, natural plant growth hormones. Um, so it's going to give your plants a nice uh, jump and vigor and keep them growing really quick and fast um, and also really uh, lush and green. Um, so you know, add this to any lineup um, and you can also use this as a foliar spray. Um, you can use this all the way through or just as needed, but I would recommend just all the way through. And the next up we get to our bat guano products. Um, this is going to be their early and late bat guano product. Um, it's a little bit higher in phosphorus than anything else. Um, it's made from 100% natural bat guano. And so uh, basically we're going to use this in early and late flower. It's going to help us with our yields. It's going to help us with our flavor and aroma. Um, but we're going to want something a little bit stronger for that mid flower, um, which is going to be the next one up, which is the HPK. Um, the HPK is to the mid-flower bulkener. It's got higher phosphorus and potassium, and it's gonna give you that extra kick you need for the weight in the middle there. Um, and then at the end, we're gonna come back to the more gentle HP2. Um, and then last but not least is their Surge. This is a newer product by them. It's got really good reviews. Um, it's a fish-based product. Um, it's also got some sugar in there, some micronutrients, some humic acid. Um, it's gonna basically just be an all-around booster to your plant's uh, flavor, aroma, health, and vigor. It's got a, a little bit of everything the plants need and it will also stimulate your microbial activity um, with the sugars in there. We're going to run this all the way through and then we're going to cut it out the last two weeks um, during basically the flushing period. Um, so there's a bunch of more information about how to use organic nutrients and how to mix them up on our website. Come check us out. Um, all this stuff's available on our website. I'd recommend running this with a good strong dirt, but you could definitely get away in a soilless medium. It could be uh, tough in a high grow medium. So um, keep that in mind when you're picking out a nutrients and I uh, hope this video helped you guys out and we'll see you next time.